Calvary greetings, everyone. Calvary greetings. My name is Ademola Uswanele, also known as the Peacemaker, formerly known as the Octopus Tutus Titarus Bulus, or the Octopus Tita. Uh, during the fire line session this morning, uh, a few things dropped into my spirit. The principal one is the uh, despotic uh, military cartel, military and uh, uniform men cartel that has been exploiting and raping the country Nigeria for the last uh, 30 to 45 years. We have seen all kinds of atrocities take place in that country and they still continue to take place. These uh, military cartels, they see it as their best right to plot a coup whenever they are not satisfied. And whenever they give it to politicians, if they are not giving what they want, they take it over again in a coup. Or they put on, pull their military uniform, police uniform, customs uniform, immigration uniform, and then wear uh, what they call like Bada Baba, they got their big costume that looks like parachute. They wear it on top of their uniform or in place of their uniform and they continue to exploit. They have been doing this for long. This is a warning shot, an open warning shot to all of them from me by the power of God that rests upon me. Most of them, they know by now who I am. Those who don't know, they should find out in the spirit. In the physical, they may not find anything. They should go in the spirit and find out who I am. I'm going to make some comments about things I've been observing, things that they have been doing, and make them know that our God is watching them. Should they have forgotten that there is a God up there? The Bible says that we do not wrestle against flesh and blood. We are wrestling against principalities and power. These individuals are principalities and powers in every sense of the word, principality and power. They have done beyond imagination. They have gone beyond imagination in exploiting, looting, and raping the country of Nigeria. The majority of the people who own these resources that have been looted have been killed. They have been crushed. They have been stabbed to the point where they don't have a voice anymore. They have become beggars for their own resources, for revenue that comes from their resources. This is not acceptable. This is not tolerable. Some of these men fly around. They go around the world. They do all kinds of things. We have been watching you. We will continue to watch you. We are observing you. One day, they say, Monkey go go market. Monkey no go return. You know, so just know that you are being watched from above and from below. You have a lot of courts in some of these uh, developed countries like Great Britain, Sometimes America, sometimes France, Italy, these are G7 nations most of the time because they are benefiting from the corrupt processes. Most of our monies are invested in their countries so they can afford to support you to protect the jobs, the health care, the benefit, the peace and tranquility their people enjoy in their own country from our looted money. Thank you, Jesus. Father, Lord, we're just going to go into this straight, Lord. We ask that you give us the wisdom to say what we need to say without fear or favor to be able to do what you have asked us to do. Thank God we are letting these people know so they won't say they don't know. They were not giving notice when they are caught in this earth or when they are caught in heaven. Show us how to do it quickly so that no lives will be lost, no blood will be spilled because these people they enjoy and rejoice when they see blood being spilled, as far as blood of innocent people. No more blood should be spilled, Lord, because of these demons, because of these devils. For in Jesus' name we pray, amen. We have a God who never fails. We have a God who never fails. We have a God who never fails. Jesus never fails. Jesus never fail forevermore. Praise God. So the people that their name came to my spirit this morning, uh, most of the principal actors, uh, uh, 
retired general monkey looking uh, Olusegun Obasanjo, former president, legal president, legal president. That's up to people to decide. To me, I don't recognize him as a president. I recognize him as a thief, a really crook thief, principality empire, wicked soul, demon. And then there's his boy or boyfriend. I don't know what their relationship is. It could be boyfriend. You never can trust these animals. Atiku, who has just been recently endorsed by him to become president elect, I mean, presidential candidate for the uh, People Democratic Party. The same party that they both looted, looted from, or used it used as a platform to loot the country of Nigeria. They have both come back together now to finish whatever is left, to go for the carcass. They've eaten everything. They want to go for the carcass now and the bones and the, and the, and the skin, whatever is left. Even the pool, they want to go for it. And you have another demon, uh, Buhari. He claims to be a saint, he claims to be a good man. But whenever he comes, there's untold hardship. Untold wickedness on the on the, on the on the masses. So I don't know. He has to explain to my God. I know he's serving a fake God. You know, serving Allah. Me, yeah, I don't recognize that as a God. I don't know. He's, he's like a cowboy, a caricature. They can come and hold me. They can send a patwa. I will send a patwa, and my God will send fire down and destroy all of them. Wherever this is, they should just give me the location. I will not wait for the U.S. or wherever to send their uh, guided missiles to to strike them. You should tell me where they are. I send fire from heaven. Fire from my God. My God are answered by fire. They know my God. So they cannot joke around with me. And also there is uh, my other demon, very hack, hack demon, senior hack demon, uh, Ibrahim Badamasi Babangida, that made stealing cool, made looting cool, gave all the people around the license to steal. He was the first to make it a... a a franchise, stealing as a franchise. You are franchised to steal here, you are franchised to steal there. What a shame. What are, what animals? Animals. And these people were trained by the British in their Sandals College. I don't know what they trained them to do there. Because they come back from there as criminals, crooks, and stooges of the British kingdom, or the British Empire, or the British monarch, or the British government. Stooges. So we don't know what they are teaching them, what they taught them. We have to know so that we can know how to arrange this. This is we are speaking under the International Council for Social Responsibility. Uh, we also have uh, one of their little demon, little arch demon. Then he's a big demon now. His name is uh, Tunde Ubeha. He made an attempt on my life. He tried to kill me during the South in 2009. He tried, but he did not succeed. My God is stronger than you. Even as a young boy, he tried to kill me. Just like Saul and uh, David, he tried. He came to my mom's bedroom. His boys came to my mom's bedroom. Bedroom, not house, bedroom. There are still gunshots marks there. They went to the washroom downstairs, gunshot marks. They don't know. I, we are of the ground. We can stay on the ground, below the ground, and above the ground. We are fully embedded with the ground. We can change to the ground. He's disappointed. You hear more of this. I pray he stays long enough because I'm going to try him for that, for attempted murder, multiple charges of attempted murder under his command. He's responsible for the actions of all the soldiers or housemen under his command. He's not going to escape it. Nobody can beg for him. Even if he's dead, I'll wake his dead body. I'll try his children in lieu of him. So, if we look at the Obasanjo article uh, system, uh, in the Obasanjo's old time with Mortamoy, they gave out an unimaginably large contract through ITT for a few lines. And one of their foolish boys, then two stupid guys, a big boy now, big demon, uh, David Mark, maybe he had the courage to say, telephone is not for the poor people, it's not for everybody, you know. And they did whatever they had. Then Obas and John Atiku came, they did the mobile spectrum. They collected so much money from the auctioneers, from the, uh, the bidders for the spectrum. And they, they gave them a paper, just paper, to go and find their road, find their way to make lines, to make networks. And today they come and proudly say they brought mobile telecommunications to Nigeria. And these mobile communications they brought, they had, 
You know, it was done with criminal intent because they benefited unnecessarily. And many of them have been benefiting corrupt officials from this uh, program when they know nothing is in place. They've had it for more than 20, almost 20 years now. And the network is still not solid, below primitive level. And these people, they move around with their Pajero, their big jeeps, bigger SUVs, and they are moving around like a, a lizards, lizards or crocodiles. That's the way I see the crocodiles. They move around like crocodiles. They are crocodiles and lizards, serpents, you know, children of Lucifer's. Nakushi Kiribaba. So even this mobile spectrum that they gave to the people now, they are using, from what I'm seeing, it looks like the Holy Spirit is saying that this thing is just a license. Everybody's giving their own license to steal. Everybody in the country is giving the license to steal by the government. License to steal and prostitute. The men use it to look for little girls. The women use it to look for men. And the other one, they look for, wait for a lot, wait for this. It's so shameful. It's shameful. It's shameful. And during this year period, the oil and gas session was slashed, burnt, was slashed and burnt. First in the 80s, then in the 90s, then in the uh, millennia. Slashing, slashing, slashing. There's nothing left. And they still want to come back. For what? They say the economy is bad. There's nothing. There's no money to do this. We don't have money. And they are fighting, killing themselves, killing innocent people, bribing doing all kinds of things, prostituting themselves to fellow men and other things, to come in again, to steal from what they said there is nothing there. What a shame, what a shame these demons are showing, shameful as these demons are doing. And now, these huge young people that have this uh, mobile phone, they are using it as a means of harassment of their family members, of their friends, of the community. They are harassing people with the phone, harassing, harassing. You know, they are using it as a means of being lazy before they walk two or three blocks to the cyber cafe or to the phone booth center. Now they are right inside their living room. No bathing, no eating, nothing. They don't do it. They just bring the phone, charge it. If there's light, if there's power, they charge it. That's the first thing about charges. And then they are making all kinds of ridiculous calls or flashing people. You know? So this has to stop. So it's just to let them know uh, a passenger. Atiku Buari Babangida Ubea. You are in my firing line. They said, We do not wrestle against flesh and blood, we wrestle against principalities and power by the authority God has given me, by the right I have, both professionally and religiously, and the authority from heaven. I have declared you as principalities and power. So it is fair game for every Christian around the world that hears this video, that receives this video, to pray against you and your household until that house crumbles. Because God says the sin of the father will come upon the son and the son's sons and the son's up to four generations. So I don't know how many generations you have. If you have already four now, the curse is upon all of you. Even if you die and go away, even if you live 300 billion, the cost will not live for generations. So just know that everything you are looking at now, they will perish either in you before your eyes or after you have gone to hell. You will see it from hell and you will cry. Tears will not come out of your eyes. Praise God. So know that you are all on the fire line. Obasanjo, Atiku, Buhari, Babangida, Tunde, Ugbeha, Nakurabako, Shekekeri, Mama, Nakarabako, Shekekeri, Baba, Nisika, Karaba, to seke kiri baba na karaba i raise my right hand up na ko seke kiri the same right hand that god placed to help david king david that hand i prophetically put it upon myself as the right hand of god everywhere my mind my spirit faces will be destroyed when it comes to these people i will see their end whether i am dead or alive Listen, guys, we do not wrestle against flesh and blood. And the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. So nobody should go and strike. Nobody should go and riot. Nobody should burn their properties. Nobody should just give them a distance. Give them a distance. If you are with them, you are one of them. 
Say, oh, I just went to eat jollof rice. That's your problem. You went to collect 5,000 from him. That's your problem. When the Lord strikes, anybody that is with them will be struck at the same time. If you don't know the power of my God, call me. Let me explain it to you so I can get it in your head, your medulla. You both walk with your head. We walk with our heart. Our heart is as big as the whole universe. Bigger than it. So there's nothing in this universe that cannot contain my heart. There's nothing in this whole world that cannot con be contained inside my heart. So Buhari, Basanjo, Atiku, Babanguda, Bea, this is a guy. I don't know what he's doing. He looks like a clown. He looks like a clown to me. He may be a clown. He must be a clown. So that is the, that is the situation. We have put you on fiery line. You are on fiery line. My sword of the spirit, none of you are qualified. You are too dirty to die on my fiery line, on my sword of the spirit. My sword of the spirit is meant for Lucifer, but he is dead. My brother Jesus has killed him already. There's no need to use it. But on the fiery line pistol, that one is for you. Bwah! 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 That is for you and your household. From now, till, your, till you cry blood, you will see the manifestation of the power of my God. Except you have not done all these things that the Spirit has told me you have done. If you have done them, nothing can save you. There is no forgiveness. You can build three million churches. You cannot be forgiven, just like your brother Lucifer. Lucifer cannot be forgiven. If anybody can be forgiven, maybe Lucifer will be forgiven first before any of you. You can kill any, do, do any rituals, extend your life. If you extend your life, it's to see more pain with your eyes here and your ears. If you die and go, to see more pains from there. There is no escaping by the decree, by the power of the God of Paman. Demola, Uswanele, Peacemaker, Octopus, Sustus, Titarus, Polos, the high priest, high priest representative of Jesus Christ has said this. You can come and hold me. You can go to my family houses. You can go to my relations. You can go to my children. You can go to my spouse. You can come to me and kill all of us. He cannot reverse that until God that I serve tells me to reverse it. If any man or woman tells you they reverse it, they are lying, they are a thief, and they will die before you. You will see their death. Maybe you pay for their funeral. So the day of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God suffered violence. By violence, we will take this kingdom back. The kingdom of God is already here. Any of you resisting the, 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 the experience of the sin of God, experience of God for everybody, you will pay for it dearly. Four generations. So if you have great-grandchildren now, know that everything is wiped off. Nothing. Anyone that remains, they will be seeking for relevance. And for all of you from now, you will be seeking for relevance. You will be conditions will change, tide will change. You will be seeking for relevance, even if you are alive. If you are not alive, forget it. All the things you think you have now, forget it. I will collect all of them. My heirs will collect all of them. My institutions will collect all of them from you and your descendants. Be stealing. Be stealing. Go and find out. I'm the son of Ademola of Henry Richard Asan of God. A real McCoy. Real McCoy. Not photocopy, not fake copy, not a printed copy, or Xerox copy, or scan copy. Original copy. Cut off straight from the block. Nakurabakashi Kikiribaba. Kuraka Sekikiribaba. Nisekikiriba. So that is the way we see it for Babangida, Ameotiku, and OBJ. For Buari, the demon Buari, he says uh, anti corruption, this and that. He's hustling, hustling, he's been hustling to become president. Now he's there, he's messed everything up. 1984, he came, there was so much starvation, so much hunger. Some words that I've never heard before. Even though I thought I was smart, I was vast in English. I said, hearing strange words for the first time. Words like queuing, queuing. Nobody queued for anything in Nigeria before. You just go there, get it, and get away. It's good to line up in an organized society, but that society is not organized. Why are you trying to pretend you are organized in the forest, in the jungle, with animals like you ruling? Kashi Karaba. I say here it is like hoarding, 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 hoarding. It's like coming out from people's uh, vocabulary, people's lexicon. Hoarding, essential commodities, squandermania, checking out like Andrew. 
Why? War against indiscipline. People were beaten mercilessly for just putting a gun on the ground. Beaten almost to death. And then you jail politicians before you for 300 years, 500 years, in very difficult conditions. What kind of cry? If you want to just execute them, just execute them. The Christians will say, if you want to shoot, shoot. Don't talk. Why are you talking? Put in a really long speech, wrong statement in kangaroo courts. Kangaroo courts. Nakoshi karabakoshi. You'll be lucky if any of you gets a kangaroo court. You will be lucky. Your dead bodies will be brought up and tried. So if you think maybe you just die and go away to hell, we'll bring your dead body, even though it's useless. We'll try it. Nakarabakoshi kekeribaba. So this Buhari guy, we don't know what he said. He said, Slim Chedi, Slim Chedi, Eminem said, Slim Chedi. Uh, can the real Buhari please stand up? We're hearing there's a fake one now, there's a double one, there's a moron, one moron that is more moronic than the other. You know, there's a, a chief herdsman that is more of a 